Welcome to the Regrid Mapping Platform. Today we're going to do a quick start guide that should get you right into our data and able to see and use our tools. So first things first, you're going to want to go to app.regrid.com slash plans and choose a plan. Uh, Starter will get you able to browse around for free, um, but to use most of the tools and other things we're going to be talking about in this video, you'll want to be a pro or a team subscriber. Once you have that all set up, you'll get placed into your dashboard. Uh, from here, uh, you can click the Go to Map button and jump straight into the map. From here, you're able to zoom in to any area of interest around the country and see all of the parcel information. Uh, when you mouse over it, you can see it comes up at the top right. And if you were to click on a given property, uh, you can see that it'll show on the map highlighted and it'll also uh, pull up this pane on the left hand side which gives you all of the data that we have on that given property. Uh, from here as well you can choose to follow um, a property if you want to save it in the list for later. Uh, you can also print a parcel PDF meaning you can get an export of this property's information in a PDF format. Um, so some other things that are super helpful and useful in general life uh, under the style pane You can change the colors of the default parcels as well as the parcel color that you hover over and the selected parcel if you're so inclined uh, There are also other style rules if you want to say, you know, make all owners with the city of Bend purple or something like that you can do so uh, Another extremely helpful tool worth talking about here is our filter tool um, any of our data you can filter on and select those properties uh, and then you can export those if you want to see them in a list. So for sake of example, uh, let's say that within this area around Bend I want to see vacant lots. Uh, I can simply click that here. You can see the tally gives you the number of parcels that fit that criteria within this area. Um, from here I can either clear it or I can refine my uh, filter by going into any of the other values and clicking on them. For example, I could click here and then try to find uh, properties that are owned by Deschutes County and our vacant lots. Uh, and you see that narrows down the tally here. Um, I can then open these up in list view if I want to see these properties in a spreadsheet view. And then if you would like to export them, you'll need to create a project, uh, which I'll do quickly for the sake of example. And you can download uh, the appropriate parcels that you've selected with the filter uh, in a variety of formats. Uh, quick note on projects. So projects are useful for saving any stuff that you might want to be looking at on the map. So for example, saving a filter to come back to later to uh, set it to a specific place so that you can snap back there each time. Uh, if you apply styles, all those kinds of things need a, a project to be saved to to be able to persist and be there next time you want them. Um, I am not going to get too heavily into any of the specifics of the tools. Um, we do have specific tutorial videos for each of them. Uh, one, well, maybe a couple other additional things. So one thing worth noting here, we've already touched on the style. Uh, it's also possible to use our measure tools really easily. So let's say that you want to get the area of a given shape. You can simply click measure area and then you can start clicking. Uh, this works almost exactly like most of these other tools you may have used. You click to sort of set the points, double click to end it. Uh, you can then see uh, that we can change the, use the units of measurement. Um, and you can also save it as a focus area if you want to come back to this area in the future. So there are a few measure tools available for you there. The other thing to note is that under the layers tab, we allow people to do a bunch of different sort of overlays as well as the base map. So you can switch from satellite to street. You can also overlay things like owner names um, or turn on parcel dimensions. If you want to see the parcel dimensions, uh, it'll show you each sort of segment of the parcel. Uh, we also have a bunch of things like elevation contours that you can turn on if you're interested in those types of things under here. That's uh, pretty much the quick rundown. Uh, remember, you can always get back to your dashboard if you'd like uh, from the top left. Uh, you can also have a quick link to your billing there. Um, you can sign in and out from here. If you're signed out, uh, you can do that. And then one final note is that uh, if you're a paying pro or a team subscriber, uh, your credentials will also work on our companion mobile app. So if you search Regrid mobile app or Regrid property app in the App Store for Android or Apple, uh, you can download it there and use your same login credentials to get in there. And that will give you a really great tool uh, if you want to access any of this information on the go.